Unfortunately, there are few native speakers of English, as a matter of fact, of any language, who understand why they sound as they do in their native language. Because no one teaches us that in schools. So we sort of pick it up as babies without effort. Now, as a second language learner, you have two major problems. One, you're no longer a baby and therefore you're no longer able to pick things up as quickly as you used to. Two, your brain has already been programmed to hear the human sounds in a certain way. So when you hear English, you don't hear it as it is being spoken, but you hear it as you think it is. So if you're a Japanese speaker, the English your brain hears is as close to the Japanese language as possible. If you're a Spanish speaker, the English your brain hears is as close to the Spanish language as possible. Got it? But in reality, they're very different. Most English schools think that second language learners need to improve the listening. And they do. But listening has to do with understanding ideas, assuming that you can hear right. But as an adult second language learner, you're not able to hear right unless you're either trained to do so or have an extraordinary musical ear, in which case you don't need to go to school. You cannot improve your listening before you improve your hearing. Hearing comes first, listening comes second.